Okay, good morning. So today we're going to be working on um, chapter 11, lesson 9. It starts on page 673. And we are going to, we're still talking about shapes, comparing shapes. We're going to model shapes in the world. So I'm, we're going to look at different items out in the world and see how they're made up of different shapes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to draw a picture using shapes. So first, what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to draw a rectangle. So go ahead and draw a rectangle. Now what we're going to do is below it, we're going to draw a square, but it's still connected. So a square. Very nice. Okay, up at the top, we're going to draw a triangle. So you have a triangle, a rectangle, and a square. Now on the side, you're also going to draw another triangle. And one more triangle on the side. Let me fix that. So we have two triangles on the side, and we're going to draw a little circle in the middle. What is this looking like? It looks like a rocket ship. Very nice. Okay, so we used a triangle, a rectangle, a square, a circle, and then two more triangles on the side. So go ahead and draw that on your paper. Do you see how we used different shapes that we've learned about to create a new item, something different? We use it to create a rocket ship. Okay, very nice. We are going to turn the page. Okay, so we're going to look at number one. So look at the picture. What shapes make the picture? Name the shapes. Use attribute. So we're gonna you, we're gonna name the shapes and then we're going to draw them. Okay. So number one, we see this. It kind of looks like it could be a pencil, like a colored pencil without an eraser or maybe a really sharp crayon. So let's see. Up at the top, we use a triangle and then down this part we're using a rectangle okay so a triangle has three sides and three vertices those points and a rectangle has four sides and four vertices those points as well let's look at number two what shapes are these two ones up on top that's right, they're squares. So we have two squares. Let's look at this next one. A rectangle and then two circles. Here's what we're going to do. Kind of towards the bottom, I'm going to draw my rectangle. Okay. Now up on the top of that, I'm going to draw two squares. So we have a rectangle and two squares. And then on the bottom, we're going to draw one circle, two circles. Very nice. And if your drawing doesn't look perfect, again, like I say all the time, it's okay. We're okay. All right, so this 
kind of looks like it might be like a cart or a piece of a car maybe all right let's turn the page okay so we're going to keep drawing shapes so let's look at number three I see if we look at the picture up here this one looks like this picture here and it looks like a wagon what shapes do we see in this wagon this top shape is a rectangle this middle shape is a rectangle and these two shapes here are circles let's draw it we're first going to draw a rectangle the bigger rectangle and then we're going to draw the two circles So we have our big rectangle and two circles. What's missing? That's right, we're missing this tinier rectangle up here. So I'm going to draw my tinier rectangle, which is the handle of our wagon. Okay, now are you ready to move on to number four? All right, because I am. All right, so number four, we have this, which we look in the picture. Here it is. It is a flower. Let's start drawing our flower. What is this shape that you see in the middle? Looks like a circle. So I am going to draw a circle. Now, I see triangles around the circle. Let's count how many triangles there are around the circle. One, two, three, four, five. Five triangles. So we're going to draw one, two, three, four. Five. five triangles around one circle. You go ahead and you work on that. Now, the one more piece right here is a rectangle and it's at the bottom and it looks like it's the stem of the flower. So we're drawing a rectangle at the bottom to draw the stem of the flower. Very nice. Okay, let's turn one last page. Okay, so number five. Use a square, rectangle, circle, triangle, and hexagon pattern blocks to make fish in the bowl. Trace the shapes and color them. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw two fish. Are you ready? So first we're going to draw a hexagon. So I'm going to help you. So we have a line on top and on bottom. Then we have a line here and a line there. One here and one here. Now we are going to draw a little eyeball for the fish. So we have a hexagon and a circle. And then let's do some rectangles for the fins. So we're going to do two rectangles like that. There's our fish. Now we're going to do a square or a square and let's do one triangle on the side of the square and then what we're going to do is we're going to get kind of creative and we're going to draw another triangle on 
the top of that square and then a triangle on the bottom of that square to kind of make it look like little fish fins. And then let's draw a circle for the eye. We can give mouths to our fish. And then let's also use some circles to draw some bubbles. Okay, so let's look at what shapes we used. So for this fish, we started with a square, and then we did a triangle, and then we had one triangle up here, and one triangle here. So we have three triangles, a square, and a circle. This fish, we have a hexagon, and then we have two rectangles. So we were able to use different shapes to create bigger pictures that we see in the real world. Good job. All right, have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.